Is Scottish independence more or less likely now Nicola Sturgeon stepped down? The names are in for who'll replace Nicola Sturgeon. Members of the SNP will vote next month on who will be Nicola Sturgeon's replacement as leader of the SNP and First Minister of Scotland after she announced she was resigning. When Westminster granted Scotland a referendum on independence in 2014, the voting age was lowered to 16 for that and future votes. More than 70% of 16 and 17 year olds in 2014 backed the yes vote for independence. But has anything shifted now? At the moment, there's no point in trying to advocate for it because of the state that the a whole of the UK is in. I feel like after Brexit and this whole cost of living crisis, there has been more support for independence. Unfortunately, I do think it's probably a bit less likely just because of this absolute powerhouse for it has stepped back. People should be decide, like able to decide their own future going forward. How did you vote? Uh, I voted to remain part of the UK. Would you change your mind if you looked at things differently? No, I don't think her, her leaving would affect my uh, opinion on a referendum. Yeah, I feel there's probably less motivation now that she's out of power, so... I feel like this thing's going to probably slow down a little bit. I don't think it changes how likely an independence is. You know, I'm, I'm hopeful in the future for Scotland. Just for right now isn't the best time for independence. Current polling puts those who want independence on roughly 44%. Those who are against it sit on 46 But roughly 9% are currently undecided. So you lot could hold all the power.